Okay, you got a smart switch, and as with most light switches, you don't have a neutral. So then you're looking at pulling a neutral. Well, if you have a multiple switch box, you don't have to pull a neutral. Oh, here we are, typical light switch. You got your neutral at the junction box, going to your light, and you got your line, which is usually brought down, well, whatever, brought down the white wire down to your switch, close the switch, and then of course back up to your light. Bang, that's how it works, no problem. Now remember, multiple switch box, you got another switch next to it powering some other light. That's all you need to know. Okay, so using the existing wiring, now you got your neutral, bring it to your light like normal, but now you disconnect that hot there, isolate it, Put a wire nut on it now you're actually hooking your white wire that you still carry the hot down to your switch now is actually your neutral and land it on your smart switch where it's supposed to be the neutral and on your switch out of your smart switch is usually the red wire connect it to your hot and bring it up to your light and then of course everybody's saying yeah that's great i have my switch out and i have my neutral but i still don't have my smart switch powered uh, but you do because the switch next to it has a constant hot on it already. So now you just bring your required constant always hot wire from your smart switch, bring it over to the bottom of your light switch on the hot pin, not on the switched out pin obviously. And now all of a sudden you have a smart switch that has constant power, switched out and neutral. And you used all the existing wiring, didn't have to pull a neutral or anything. You're welcome.